Alrighty. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take the chicken off of its bag and make sure that it's thawed so it's not frozen or anything like that. And then you might want to rinse it and um, get it ready for cutting. What I usually do when I cut it is I start off with the legs. So I go this way with my knife. With my knife, I go ahead and slice it this way. And I cut the thigh out too. So it's not only the leg that I cut, but I'm not sure if you could hear that pop. But I cut all the way through the thigh. And there you go. That's one part of the chicken. And then I have a container where I put it. And then I do the same thing. Oops. A giblet came out. <laughs> and then I guess, well, I guess, you know what? That's one thing you should do first before you start cutting up your chicken. You want to take off the insides of it. And you want to make sure that nothing is inside. All right. So now let's go ahead and cut the other side of the chicken. Same thing. Just slide your knife. Way, and then just pull the thigh back until you hear a pop and then you'll see like that joint come out and then just slice through there and there you go that's the second piece of the chicken now I'm gonna go ahead and take off the wing so to do that I want to go ahead and pull the wing out and then just on the joint just slide my knife through it like this and see how easily that comes out and then you want to do the other side so slice and you just go through the joint and it probably will take you like a couple times before you get this um down. get it down yes yeah, so you can hear my son talking in the background he's my cameraman um let's go ahead and now take off this is still part of the giblet over there. Now I'm going to separate the breast from the ribs. So to do that, what I do is I hold the chicken up this way and I slide it and just slide my knife through there and just go all the way down. You need to exert some kind of effort and you have to be very careful. You have to have a sharp knife. And be careful when you do this because if this is the first time you're doing it, it could get tricky. Okay, this is the the ribs part. Put that in your container. And then you can separate the breast and I don't know what you want to do. You could take the meat out and just fillet it and, and use it for whatever purpose. I'm going to make some kind of a stew. So I'm just going to cut this up. Um, what you could look for is the center of it and just start cutting there and uh, it, it's a little bit hard because there's a bone right there so you need to be strong and just slice it up and you have to have like what I said earlier a sharp knife and just cut that part up there you go. This, like, just like this, you could just marinate that and grill that if you wanted to. Or if you're making stew, like I am, you would cut it up. This is how I usually cut it. I just, you know, you can either cut it this way or that way. I, mean, I take this part off because it's just yucky stuff. It's the fat of the chicken. And I really don't want to cook that. So this, I'll put it over here, but I'll throw it out later on. And just cut through the bone. This is a tough part, so you'll have to, if you have a mallet, you could bang it against the back of your knife to help you slice that up. And... Okay, this part I didn't show you how to cut. You want to go ahead and just defy if you want to make that smaller. You could, on this bendy part over here, there's the joint right there. Just slide your knife in there and slice 
place it like that. Or not, you could just leave it like that depending on how you want to do it. So here's the thigh and here's the leg. Same thing with the other one. So look for the chicken wing. There you go. You could take off the drumettes part and just slide your knife right there to where the joint is. And you have your wing and your drumettes. Put your chopping board and your knife away. Make sure to wash your hands really well because you want to get salmonella. And here you go. We've cut up a whole chicken into little pieces. You could cook them all. You could separate them. What I usually do is I buy um, chicken wholesale at um, Price Club or Costco. And I chop them up. And then I separate them and then I cook them for whatever purpose because it's cheaper that way. And that is how you cut up a whole chicken.